please think about your legacy because you are writing it every day. Gary Vaynerchuk. Welcome everybody to the podcast. Let's be real. As I like to do, I like to jump into uh, gratitude time. So what are you grateful for? What are you what are you looking around, smelling, hearing, thinking about that would make you think, man, I am really grateful for that. Today, I am grateful to be alive during a time where we can be more aware of our actions and how it will affect our generations to come. So if you haven't picked up on today's podcast episode theme, which is episode 30 here, it's his legacy. What, how are you going to leave your legacy? So let's get into some Webster's definitions. Legacy, it's a noun, an amount of money or property left to someone in a will, or the reputation you leave behind. Ancestor, noun, a person, typically one or more remote than a grandparent from whom one is descended. Transmit, noun, cause, something to pass on from one place or person to another. Reputation, or reputation, I don't know, is it reputation? Wow, I'm terrible at words. Reputation. Noun. The beliefs or opinions that are generally held about someone or something. So legacy is a term we've been hearing a lot recently in the last you know decade or so. It's a word that's been around forever, but you know, it words come and go in popularity, and, and one of them that's been on the rise is legacy. Why is leaving a legacy important? Not only is leaving enough money for your family so that they can live comfortably and everything if something should happen to you important but also the reputation a name has a name can have a lot of reputation whether it be good or bad and having that good reputation really helps your family line down the road i mean look at henry ford the ford company they've had a reputation for years based off of how he did things you know, there, there's so many different family names out there in companies that have reputation because of the legacy they have left behind. Many of us don't realize we're all leaving legacies, whether it be Joe Blow, the your neighbor, you know, the car salesman that you bought your car from. All of us are leaving a legacy. And it's not just for the world, but it's for our families as well. It's for that individual type of thing. Think about your parents. Think about your grandparents. Think about your great-grandparents. You know, some of us had parent, grandparents who were in the war, World War II. Uh, we've even had parents who were in the Gulf War. Some of us have had um, grandparents and parents who worked at the same company for years. Some of our grandparents have owned a business, say a farm or a, or a packing shed or any type of or a restaurant and it's been passed down through generations the legacy of that business has been derived from many many people touching it and going through it but it's not just that business that has a legacy it's the family names associated with it that have a legacy as well so think about how others talk about their ancestors. Do they talk about them in a bad way? Do they talk about them in a good way? You know, what type of legacies are you hearing that are being left behind? Think about all of the companies and their legacies. And how is it that they do this? Think about the, the, the different ways that these companies try to create legacies. They do it by either community outreach or by being more family oriented, all of these different things. So when it comes to your legacy, think about all the things that you can do to really make it work. You know, um, I know for myself, this YouTube channel, um, this podcast, all of these things I'm doing is a legacy I'm leaving behind for my kids. They're going to come back, you know, hopefully, you know, 100 years from now, YouTube is still here. Podcasts are still here. If not, there's ways to save these files on backups. Everything, but they'll be able to listen to this stuff and go, wow, you know, my father, my grandfather, my great grandfather, the things that he did, the, the, the people he tried to help with these topics and, and um, these things he tried to teach people and the way he 
coached people and all of these things is just inspiring and it's so amazing that's the legacy i'm trying to leave that's what i want my kids my grandkids to look and go wow that's so cool sorry just a little you know a little emotional with that but it's just it to think about you know 100 years from now when i'm dead and my great grandchildren are listening to the even if they're listening to this specific one you know i hope that you guys realize that there's so much potential in you and there's so much that you can do with your lives but remember the legacy you are leaving just as I thought about the legacy I was leaving. Because it's so easy for us to get wrapped up in our own things, in our own lives, and not care about what's to come, the future, what's going to be important 100 years from now. And I really, really hope, you know, I'm recording this in 2020 during this crazy pandemic that we're having. And if you're listening to this 100 years later, I really hope that all of us that were alive during this time left a legacy that was worth you guys to continue. That was worth the blood, sweat, and tears that we put into this to make the world a better place, to clean the world up, to leave it better than when we found it. So that when you guys have it in your hands, you can leave it better than when you found it. Because, man, there's so many people fucking this world up right now. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I just hope that we can learn that it's not always about the immediate. It's about the future, too. What can we do to ensure that the legacy we leave behind encourages and helps build a better tomorrow. So, like I always do towards the end, I like to get into a Q&A reflection time about what we just dove into. And I feel like, I don't know if you guys feel, but I feel like that one was, that one was deep. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little worked up right now. I'm not going to lie, but um, it's in a good way. And I really, really hope this message hits you and makes you really go deep into thinking about this. So what kind of legacy was left for you? I know mine was up and down. Part of my family history, I don't even know. Because I don't even know who my father was. So I don't know the legacy of that side of my family. But I knew though I do know the legacy of my other side. And it's not exactly a great one. So that's why I want to make mine better than what was left for me. But what kind of legacy was left for you? Are you going to work on leaving a better legacy for your kids, grandkids, great grandkids, etc.? And the last question I want to ask you is what will be your legacy? That's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you guys could do me one small favor, share me off to friends, family, whoever you think could get something out of this. Send me off on all those social media platforms. <laughs> give me a give me a shout out. Uh, if you share me on Instagram, I will repay the favor by putting you in my stories. It's at Chris McCarthy GTR. C-H-R-I-S-M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-G-T-R. God, I would appreciate it so much. Let's, let's build this channel together. Let's grow this together. Let's help as many people as possible in the world. Let's get this rolling. Because I just I, I can't wait to see how many lives we can help and how many legacies we can impact and help. So, as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And God bless.